her dad, Jack. He never lets up. I mean, he doesn't let her have friends. Read, I ran a check on the folks involved in the search. All good. Nice neighborhood, no sexual offenders. But here's the big news. I found a blog Katie ran on faceplace.tv. She talks a lot about Lindsay, and boy, she did not like Lindsay's dad. She cleans her and treats her like a wife, not a daughter. He's just, he's just a creep. Lindsay and Jack moved to Chula Vista six years ago. Up until nine, according to Katie, Lindsay lived in Maine. Jack owned a fishing boat with his three brothers. Mom stayed at home. But then, tragedy struck. Fish stock went down. Dad was forced to sell his boat. Family fell apart. Mom died in a car accident. Sounds familiar. It should. It's the exact life story of a girl named Lindsay in a book called The Emerald Sea of Dreams. I've read it like five times. If Lindsay stole her name and her story from a book, why didn't her father say anything about it? I guess he's computer. Told you I'll be here forever. That I'll always be a friend. You can know come and see it out. Garcia. Sir. I need you to check. Boys suck. Especially at my school. Also, busy being busy. There's this one guy, though. Real cute. Uh, hangs out with two dweebs. But Lindsay says to stay away from him. Go. Back to high school, boys who flunked out or got kicked out. Go back ten years. Lindsay says there's there's something not right about him. I think Katie's talking about him right now. Thanks, Garcia. Like she's never met him.